Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it's Thursday. It's Thursday and I just put Flo down for a nap. So Joseph's shouting at something down there. Um, Joseph's downstairs with Charlotte. He's just eating his lunch. So I've got some bits that I've bought for Flo for her birthday and beyond, if you like. So she's going to be turning one next friday um i mean she's still fit in in her nine to twelve month clothes most of them some of them are getting a bit small but most of them still okay so i'll probably gradually change her clothes over but I have been buying a few bits here and there and i've got some bits because i wanted to personalize some stuff for her for her birthday um so I have here a mini Shein haul. There's only a few bits in here. But I've also got some bits that I bought her from Asda. And I've also bought a pair of trousers from Next as well. And I thought I would put in the presents that we've bought for her. Because she won't see this vlog. Because she's just a baby. And the other ones, even if they told her, she wouldn't understand. So it's fine. So I can show you what we've got for her birthday as well. But I'm going to start with this lot first in here. So, obviously it's also Easter next Sunday. Um, so her birthday's Friday and then Easter is Sunday. And we normally have, uh, we normally do like an Easter egg hunt in the garden for the little ones with all the plastic eggs. We fill them with sweeties and stuff. Um, and we normally just have a family day on Easter Sunday. Maybe go for a walk uh just normally something just nice family kind of home day so we're not really going to do a party as such for Flo because I didn't want the day I mean the kids are on holiday because it's it's um it's Easter holidays but I didn't want to I didn't want to go rushing out anywhere because she is just a baby and you know, if we did soft play or if we went for a meal or we did any of those things, even went to Landmark or anything like that, we are planning on doing that the following week. But if we did any of those things for her birthday, it wouldn't really be for her, it would be for everybody else, which is fine. Um, but I wanted to just be able to spend the day with her at home, you know, all of us at home. Um, I mean, we might go for a walk or something, but what we're planning on doing, I'm hoping that the weather is going to start changing and be nice because she obviously spent a little bit of time in the garden last year but she was only tiny so she won't remember um so it'd be nice to get her out in the garden and and set up some things out there to play but if we don't get in the garden we'll do it in the house but we're going to do things like um we're just going to have past the parcel and some little party games that they can all play together that she will kind of enjoy um taking part in uh i just wanted to kind of spend the day just maybe have some food um just not any of us having to do too much so that we can just spend time just together because it's nice when it's nice when I do like a birthday buffet or all those sorts of things but it does mean that I'm kind of in the kitchen for most of it it's a bit like Christmas isn't it I love doing the cooking and all that sort of stuff at Christmas but it does mean that I spend most of the time in the kitchen while they're all kind of playing um and, I mean they, they don't mind but the layout of our house if it was kind of if we had a family area with the kitchen and family room and everything that'd be great because you could be in the kitchen and watching what they're doing but the layout of our house means that when you're in the kitchen you're kind of away from everybody else so I didn't I didn't want to spend the day away from 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 all of that I wanted to we just all want to spend the day just with her you know get some photos Isabel's making a cake um just just have a nice family day so what we have got is I've got an outfit in here which so it's a bodysuit actually that looks really big um I got a twice for 18 months but that actually does look quite big oh well. so it's a bodysuit and a tutu skirt um which I was going to personalize with like um one florence kind of thing on it but i found this other bodysuit here 
which I liked even better because it's got really pretty sleeves. So I bought, because that came as an outfit, I bought this outfit and an extra bodysuit. So I'm going to personalise this bodysuit, probably with um, one and Florence across it, maybe a little glittery crown or something, to go with the tutu. Cute! on her birthday for her to wear on her birthday and then obviously after she can wear that as well because I bought her 12 to 18 months so she can wear that for afterwards and this one as well I thought would be great for summer she can wear it with leggings she can wear it with skirt she can wear it under a dress or she just wear it on its own to be honest if it's warm um so I thought that was that was quite good so she's got those I've also bought this which is how cute is that i thought that's perfect for sort of spring summer a little bodysuit um romper suit sorry i do love she and do some really really cute little rompers how cute is that i thought it was really sweet so she's got it's got big big sleeves like my jumper so she's got that one that's 12 to 18 months as well um got her these which are i think i got i got six to twelve months because she's got tiny feet still and i thought that 12 to 18 months would be too big look long socks she's got little knee high socks with bows on so she's got like i think they're are they like an orangey yeah orangey ones blue ones, white ones, oh that was, okay cream ones and white ones, see the difference, and then little pink ones, so they're kind of um, sort of sheery kind of ones so she can wear them on her birthday, like I said I got her 6 to 12 months because she's so tiny, she's got tiny little feet, um, so I thought they were really 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 cute. How cute are they? So she's got five pairs of socks to wear with various items. They'll fit her for quite a while because of her tiny feet. A lot of mine had tiny feet when they were little. Olivia's still got tiny feet now. Um, all right, so that's those. Also bought, because she's kind of um, more hair ties. We go through these quite quickly and they're really cheap on she um she got she's kind of grown out of having the the tiny little bows because now she's got quite a lot of hair her hair goes quite fluffy and when you put the tiny little bow in it looks weird so i bought her big bows but we couldn't make a decision on the bows so we bought them all she didn't buy them all because there's hundreds on there we bought a few so she's got these sort of Colour ones to go with some outfits, but then the nice big thick ones, so they'll fit with her hair. She'll pull them out because that's what she does now. But we might be able to get a photo. Her hair's kind of wild. I wonder if she might have curls like um, Isabel. And then we've got like green, green, white, and blue. I haven't actually been through her 12 to 18 month stuff to see what she's got put away yet. Um, that's something else I've got to do. I will have to do that. And then uh, she's now got three white bows, I've just realised. Because um, each set has come with a white. And then she's got these ones, which are kind of pink, pinky. These ones are quite nice. They're like tights material. Um, so they're super stretchy. Pink and another white one. She's got lots of bows. I think Florence has probably got more bows than any child I know. She's got loads of them. Right. And last but not least, out of this lot, is... So the girls want to do, like, a little bit of a photo shoot with her. They wanted to do a cake smash, but um, I can't cope with that because it's just really messy. Um, and I just think of the washing and, and the rest of it. So 
I said maybe we'll do a little bit of a photo shoot with her balloons and her cake just not putting it too close to her um and because it's Easter Sunday on the Sunday as well so we bought her a really cute little dress um I don't know what that is oh it's a bow to wear for she's going to wear it for a little photo shoot and then she's going to wear it again on the Easter Sunday because she looks so cute in blue blue really is really her colour so we've bought her a little blue dress and I've bought her 12 to 18 months so she can wear it more than just the once so she can wear it um because if I bought her 9 to 12 months she wouldn't have very much wear out of it but how cute is that little blue lacy dress so she's going to wear that and it's got a um it's got a bow with it as well she's got a little a little bow to go around the waist as well so yeah she's got this one little puffy i wanted her to have a little puffy dress we could sit her how cute is that she might keep it on she doesn't mind dresses actually but she just doesn't like them for long because she can't crawl but I just thought blue is looks really nice on her and it's a really pretty dress and then if we go anywhere especially in the summer as well that should fit her for for the summer too so that is I think everything that I got from Shein so I'll go and grab the other bits and show you those as well okay so I'm also going to do her a t-shirt because the others have had t-shirts for their birthdays like Joseph had three with his name and a dinosaur so I'm also going to do Flo a black t-shirt I think black black or white I think black probably I wanted to get her a pair of leopard print leggings like the twins have got and had I remembered before I put my Shein order in I would have got them off of there but <clears throat> as it takes a couple of weeks to come sometimes I didn't leave myself enough time and I couldn't get them from anywhere else in her side. So I got these because I thought these would be nice for the summer as well. These are from Next. Um, these little trousers. Agnes used to have little trousers like these. How cute are they? I think she was probably a little bit older, but I just thought they were really, really sweet. So I'm I'm going to do a little t-shirt to go with these and then she can wear that during the summer as well. So because I know, I know she has got a fair amount of clothes put away, but... I'm not sure that she's got that many. So I've just been buying a few bits here and there. But I love these little baggy sort of trousers. They're dead cute. So I got her those to go with a little black t-shirt. And then, so they're from Next. Those ones, I can't remember how much they were. Oh, it doesn't say, I can't remember. I got her these bits. Did I say Tesco? I meant Asda. I got these bits from Asda as well with my some of my rewards my as rewards the other week for the summer so the girls helped me choose these she's got this little pink dress she's i love i love the fact that these are all back in fashion olivia found some on shein the other day um like proper kind of you know what i probably would have worn as little and they're so cute she's got a little pink dress like that and then she's got a little denim dress mm. Saying, saying that she doesn't like dresses and I've realised that we've bought loads of dresses she doesn't mind them she just gets frustrated because she can't crawl very well in them little denim dress um, and then we've got these little rompers for the summer so there's a green one and a little checkered yellow one I think that's the back I think that's the front oh, it's all tangled up that's the fun little checkered yellow one. I'm not sure how that's going to look on her. She's not always great in yellow, but I liked the other two. So I got it anyway. And that little creamy one. So they're for the summer. They look quite big at the moment, but I'm hoping that by summer she'll, they'll fit nicely. Aww. They were actually, they were only £12 for three, which I thought was quite a good price. I hear the cat. And then this little outfit as well. Um, with little green spotty leggings and a little t-shirt so that was £7.50 that little outfit which I thought was sweet but like I said I got them with my ASA rewards um, so 
I didn't pay as much for them because I got them with that. So that's it for the clothes. Um, obviously, you'll probably see them again when I get out the 12 to 18 month stuff and go through all of that. These lot will probably be in there, apart from the stuff that she would have already worn. So you'll have to keep an eye out for personalisation on those tops as well. So I'm going to go and grab her presents and show you what she's got. Okay, so I've been hiding all of these in the girls' room because under the stairs is full of Easter eggs. I shouldn't have said that because the kids will watch that. Anyway, um, I've been hiding them. So, obviously, obviously she's she's only one. So, um, there's you know she's not really. I don't like to not buy them anything, but equally we've got a lot of toys in the house. It's not that long since Christmas, and she's kind of more interested in crawling around and books and and all that sort of stuff. So I didn't want to buy a load of stuff, but I did want to buy some bits that I knew that she'd like. Um, and some bits for like the summer onwards. So uh, I also like to buy them something special for their first birthday. Agnes, I bought a little bracelet put away somewhere, I think. Uh, I'll just try and find it, a little bracelet, a little baby bracelet. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna get her something like that as well. It's just a little bit of a special keepsake really more than anything. Um, I think Agnes's was like one of the, almost like a christening bangle, but with a little, little diamond tea on it, which is really cute. Um, so I'm probably going to get her something like that. I'm also going to get her a wooden busy board because she loves, she loves things that like, she loves putting balls in things. She loves just fidget. She's got this fidget toy, I know, cop. She's got this, which she absolutely, I bought this at Christmas from Amazon. Um, I think it was only about a tenner or something, maybe less. She absolutely, this is one of her favourite, favourite toys. It's got like this little fidget thing that goes along a little, she likes these little poppets. She absolutely loves this toy. She plays with it all the time um, and has done since she got it for Christmas. She's got all pulley through things. And like I said, it wasn't overly expensive, but she, she adores these sorts of things. So I thought I'd get her a little wooden busy board. Um, we're going for a blue and pink theme so we've got balloons ready i'm going to get her a pink um helium balloon from the shop but those are the ones we're going to make a balloon display with i've probably got more under the stairs so i didn't buy too many um and these are presents so good old amazon because i didn't really know what to buy for her um like i said she's got quite a lot of stuff already so i was kind of like i'm not really sure um so i got her these little I do like wooden toys. She likes the wooden toys. So I've got these little wooden skittles, um, which are really cute. Just hope they don't start throwing them at each other. But they're really cute. So she's got those. She's got, I bought this, which is, it's like got the hammer things on the top and then a xylophone on one side. And then I think it's got, it's got this on the other side as well. And a little, um, a little clock thingy on the side she's got uh for christmas we got her like this little wooden car thing with all the little uh, vegetables that go in it and the little magnetic carrots that you pull out with um a little fishing rod she adores it she absolutely loves it i mean it's supposed to be for i think it was supposed to be for a slightly older child but she loves it she loves putting like shapes in shapes orders and things like that she loves that sort of stuff so i thought she'd like that as well um this one i don't know if i can actually get into it without um i don't think i can get into it so you'd have to just look at the box and imagine it's one of those car um you know the little wooden car ramp things that goes like that it's one of those but if i open it then I have to take all the ribbon off and it won't look very pretty anymore. So I have to leave that one. You'll have to just see it when, when we open it. So she's got those. Now she's also got, um, so Granny and Granddad are buying her, bought her a, a name frame, like the other ones have got with her name on and her um, 
uh, date of birth. And I think, so we've got this toy in the garage. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Are they roll arounds or something? I can't remember what they are. These little balls that roll around. Um, I'm not doing a very good description of it at all, am I? Anyway, we had it for either Agnes or Joseph. Could have been Agnes. And then maybe Joseph a little bit. But I lent it to my neighbour. I gave it to my neighbour um, for her little ones. And now they've grown out of it, so she's given it back. Um, so it's been in the garage for a while because Flo wasn't really big, big enough for it. So I'm going to bring it in and um, give it a clean up because it's been out in the garage. Um, and I'm going to set that up for her birthday as well. So it's technically not really a present because we've already got it. But it is a present because she's never seen it. So that she's going to have that as well. And then she's got this. Now, I know you're going to say, she can't even walk yet. Why are you buying her that? Because she's nearly walking and... Hi. Um, she's nearly walking. So it's not going to be long. And once she gets out in that garden, she's going to be gone. Um, and she's going to be running around trying to keep up with the rest of them. So I've bought her this. Now, it's a tiny one. It's suitable for one to two-year-olds. So it's just the right size. I bought her a bike. I know you're probably thinking, why are you buying her a bike? She can't walk, but it's a tiny weeny one. It's a tiny weeny one that's suitable for, like I said, for one to two year olds. So the balance bikes we've got outside are all a bit bigger. So they're kind of um, Joseph's size, maybe a bit smaller, sort of two, three year olds. Whereas this one is for a tiny weeny one. So she's got the, I think it's this one, the pink and gray one. And I thought, once summer comes, that's another like two, three months, she's going to be walking and she's going to be wanting to scoot around the garden with everybody else. Um, and it says 12 months plus, so I'm not completely crazy. So we've got this too. She'll love it. So that is her presents for her birthday. I think I kind of always feel a little bit unorganised. But I am organised. But I kind of, I always worry. I worry with every one of them. Have I got them enough? Have I got them the right stuff? Are they going to like what they get? I worry every single birthday for everybody. I worry about this sort of thing. You know, have I done enough for them? And I always, I struggle a little bit with like all the twins because they're all on the same day. I always think, have I done enough individually for each of them um, to kind of make them feel like it's individual because their birthday isn't individual because all four of them are on the same day but I try and make sure that each one of them have got I know we don't do four cakes but we might have to start doing that because we do get through a lot of cake but it's I just like them to feel you know special for the for the day because it's their birthday and I like like it to be special so yeah I always worry have I got enough have I done enough I haven't bought her a card yet um so I need to do that but I, and I need to personalise those bits. But apart from that, I think we're ready. And then 10 days after Florence's birthday, we've got Lizzie's 18th. And that I'm not ready for at all. So she's um, she wants practical things for her birthday. And Lizzie doesn't really, um, she doesn't really wear jewellery or anything like that. She's not really into any of that sort of stuff. So I like to, for their like milestone birthdays, so 16, well, 18 is our first 18th, but 16 year old and, you know, first, first birthday, I like to buy something a bit special. Um, and like, so for Liv's 16th, she had a 16 charm for her Pandora bracelet. Probably the twins, when they get to the 16th next year, they'll probably have the same sort of charm for their bracelets. So it's a bit difficult when they're not really, it's difficult to know what to get to be that special thing. So I am thinking of doing um, a book a bit like the girls did for us for Christmas. So if you've seen that one, the memory book that they did, thinking of doing that for her 18th. She won't watch this so I can I can talk about it because she won't know. Um, but I've only left myself like two weeks. So it might have to be a kind of in lieu of her 18th. So she might get it like before a 19th. But we'll get there. She'll get it. But I thought that might be quite a nice thing to do because I did years back, way back when, I did start doing baby books for the youngest, the eldest four. So like for Lizzie, back in the day when you didn't have social media and you didn't have all those things 18, 18 years ago, it was, you know, we might have had 
Facebook, I think, came around when they were small. But, you know, it wasn't really a big thing. And you used to write things down in books, like your baby book. I did start doing a baby book for Lizzie and Livy and the twins. But I kind of never kept them up because everything went on social media and the photo, you know, everything was photographed. We didn't have, I mean, when we got married 18 years ago, we didn't even have a digital camera. So, so it's kind of, so much has progressed so quickly over the last 18 years. Things have changed so rapidly that it kind of almost became a little bit irrelevant because everything is kind of documented through photographs and stuff. But it is something that I've always wanted to go back and do. Um, maybe not the same way as I would have done them back then, but in a new kind of way, like a scrapbook or just putting together memories from, from when they were small, especially the older ones, because they don't have, I mean, now we literally take photos every single day. Whereas back then we didn't up until, cause Lizzie, so Lizzie was five months old when we got married. So her kind of first five months, six months are all photographs rather than on digital, actual photographs in an album, um, rather than digital. And then we got a digital camera and it kind of, but we still haven't got as many as we have now with our mobile phones taking pictures all the time. So it would be nice to sort of just go back and capture some of those things and put them in a book for us. So I think if I do that for her 18th, then I'll probably try and do it for everybody's 18th um, because it's kind of a nice little memory. Um, because I'd say all these things in my head and and and, I think I've got all the time in the world, but I really haven't. But I'm going to do it anyway, even if they don't actually get it on their 18th. As long as they get it, you know, that's what counts, isn't it? Anyway, so it's kind of just a little bit of a show you what we've got and a bit of a clothing kind of haul. Um, it's Thursday already. Eva's back tomorrow. So she's obviously been away on a residential. I've seen a few photos uh and she looks like she's having a good time they all look like they're having a good time i'm i think the weather's got a bit better today because i've had a few really wet days because it's been really wet here and i think it's been really wet down there so they've had a couple of wet days but it looks like the rest of the week's going to be quite nice for them so i think i think she's had a nice time she looks she looks fine in the photos um and we've had no phone calls so everything must be okay um yeah, so she's back. She's back tomorrow, which is great. But then Olivia goes away tomorrow to a dance comp and she's away till Monday. So I can't rest properly until um, until she's back on Monday. And then they're on Easter holidays. Tomorrow's the last day of term. So they're on Easter holidays. Ben is on nights next week. Granny and Granddad are coming to visit. Um, and then the week after Ben is off, so we're going to try and get in some days out. I think we're going to try and do a landmark trip that week, do some other bits and pieces. Erin's um, got an appointment for hopefully her hearing aids to be fitted. So yeah, it'd just be nice to finish school and to have a couple of weeks off. Everybody's very tired. Everybody's very grouchy. Obviously we've had the clock change, which kind of made everybody more grouchy. So we could just do with everybody having a couple of weeks off. Then the girls, when they go back to school, the girls go back for one week, the older ones. Um, so Elizabeth, it's not Elizabeth, Olivia and Isabel go back for one week and then they're on study leave for their exams. And then that's Olivia finished school. Then she's applying for a college course. So that's her finished school. Um, so yeah, it's all kind of all busy, busy. But yeah, we're just looking forward to the end of term. I'm looking forward to Eva coming back and then I'm looking forward to Olivia coming back, although she hasn't even gone away yet. Um, but they're all, you know, having a good time. So that's, that's, that's good. Everything should be prepared for next Friday. But at least they haven't got to go to school or anything so we can all enjoy the day. That's the main thing. So anyway, um, just a bit of a quick catch up and show you what we've got. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we will catch you in the next video, which should be every weekend, I think. Bye.